Coffee Break Swedish, Season 1, Lesson 18. Hej och välkomna till Coffee Break Swedish. Jag heter Mark. Och jag heter Hanna. Hur mår du, Hanna? Jag mår jättebra, Mark. Hur mår du? Jag mår också jättebra. Um, I am just back from a week of holiday. How would I say I have been on holiday? Jag har varit på semester. Okay, I'll try saying that. Jag har varit på semester. Åh, oh, trevligt. Um, hade du bra semester, Mark? Uh, okay, I've not answered this question before, but I'm going to try. Jag hade, jag hade det väldigt bra. Perfect, bra. I had a really nice uh, week off. Uh, not going anywhere, obviously. It's a little difficult to go anywhere at the moment, but uh, a nice week off doing some relaxing things like music and art and walking and, yeah, nice and enjoyable. And I also did some Swedish at some point. Oh, excellent. You are my favourite student. <laughs> okay, we're back with another episode in which we're going to be learning a little more about transport. Uh, we spoke a little bit about transport last time and getting around the town. But in this time, in this episode, we're going to be looking at trans travel by train. Yes, so I thought last time we kind of stayed in town and uh, this time we're going to go move out um, in the country. Excellent. That sounds good. That sounds good. Uh, I'm looking forward to this lesson. Uh, jag ser fram emot den här lektion. Lektionen. Lektionen. Ah, so. Jag ser fram emot den här lektionen. Right. So den här is like this one, but you still have to make it the the form. Is that right? Yes. So can you give me another example of of this with an N word? Yes, for example, um, den här boken. Oh, would that be this book? Yes. And when you have an et word, um, like hus, det här huset. This house, det här huset. Yeah. Okay, so I'll try this, try this again. Jag ser fram emot den här lektionen. Ja, perfekt. Jättebra. So, Mark, do you remember the word for train to start with? Okay, um, I, I can't honestly remember if it was an N or an ET word, but I think the word is TOG. Bra. Um, and often, I know I always say that most names are N words, but a trick to, um, to see if a word is an ET word is often short words. So, TOG is an ET word, ET TOG. Like ET HUS, I guess. Exactly. Okay, it tog. So, right, it tog. Toget would be the train then. Ja, precis. Um, and if we are at uh, Stockholm Central, mm -hmm. which is where you take the train in, in, uh, in Stockholm, um, you have two types of train stations. So I thought it was important for us to know the, uh, a word that is pendeltåg. It sounds like my second name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it comes from the verb at pendla, which means to commute. Ah, right. Okay, so pendeltog, is that like a commuter train? Exactly. So we have a little sm uh, smaller station in Stockholm Central. Mm -hmm. So if you are a tourist and you are going um, somewhere else in Sweden, don't take pendeltoget. Okay, that that's good advice. I'll, I'll remember that. Um, what's the, the, the word for like a normal train then? Would, would you just say tog it? Yes, yeah, so just tog. Okay. Um, and quite often nowadays, it's, it's, it's quite easy to be a tourist and buy tickets, isn't it? Because you can do it online mm -hmm. or webben. Um, so we have a lot of different tickets in Sweden. In Sweden. Do you remember... Um, the word for ticket? Well, I think it sounds like the French word or the Italian word for ticket, as far as I remember. Was it bi billet? Billet, ja, precis. So, um, we, ha, uh, we har an e-billet. E-billet, that like an e-ticket? Exactly. And you have an SMS billet. I'm guessing that's the one that you get by text message. Exactly. You have an app billet. Presumably on the app on your phone. 
Exactly. And then the last more traditional one, pappersbiljett. Pappersbiljett would be a paper ticket. Yes. So it's, it is quite easy to buy a ticket because you can just do it on the computer and then mm. you don't have to speak to, to anybody. But but that defeats the purpose of your learning Swedish. <laughs> exactly. And we, we like to speak to people, especially Swedish people. So if you're at the station, you go to the SJ Resebutik. Right. I think you've we talked about a Rese Centrum, I think, last time. Um, and Rese is a, like travel travel, something like that. Unfortunately, um, the local transport and the train um, company, they have decided to have different names. So the the uh, buses, they are called, where you buy a ticket, a Rese Centrum. Mm-hmm. And the trains, they call it Rese Butik. Rese Butik, okay. And Butik is just, um, is I guess it's similar to the word Butik. Yeah, like a, a, a boutique, a pl- place where you buy things. Exactly. So a, a small shop. What was the word that you said before the race boutique? SJ. SJ. What does that mean? Statens Järnvägar. Ah, right. So it's the letters. Was, is that SJ? Yes. Right. So let's hear it again. SJ. Statens Järnvägar. Presumably Statens means of the state. Yes. And Järnvägar? So this is how Swedish work, Mark. Jan means iron, väg means road. All right. Okay, so the iron roads, these must be the, the railways, yeah? Yes, exactly. Just like in French, chemin de fer. So there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I go into the, the SJ Race Boutique um, and I want to, let's say, buy a, I don't know, a train ticket to Gothenburg, um, I think I probably know all the words for that at this yeah, stage, do I, I? I think so too. You can do it. Let's let's try. Okay. Uh, jag vill köpa en biljett till Göteborg. Bra! Jag vill köpa en biljett till Göteborg. Jag vill köpa en biljett till Göteborg. Ja. Um, and... But it's good that you 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 picked um, Göteborg, Mark, um, because here we have a, um, a high speed railway, okay, or a regular train. Right. So, what would the high speed railway be? Is X two thousand. The X two thousand. Exactly. <laughs> it sounds like a broom from from Harry Potter or something like that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we can also call it snub tog. Oh, like a fast train. Yeah. And maybe you don't just buy a ticket for yourself, Mark. Maybe you need several different tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, so you and me, Mark, we are vuxna. So we have a vuxen biljett, which is an adult ticket. Ah, okay, right. That's like the, the German uh, uh, vaccine. Um, so vu- what was it? Vuxen? Vuxen. Vuxen. Uh, and so, uh, uh, did you see an vuxen billet? Yeah, ja, an vuxen billet. Now, you also said that we are adults and you used a different form. Can you say that again? So, in plural, vi är vuxna. Vuxna. Okay, V U X N A in that case. Ja, so en vuxen, två vuxna. Bra, okay. Um, so, what would, what would a child's ticket be then? En barn billet. Barn billet. So we've we've had barn before, två barn and so on. Um, en barn billet. Yeah, but when it comes to the trains, you're actually seen as we we call it barn, and then we have slash ungdom, which means youth. Youth. Okay. And how? Out of curiosity, how um, old does a youth get in, in, <laughs> in Sweden? Well, a youth is uh, up to 25 you are youth when it comes to the trains in Sweden. Okay. So, barn or ung, ungdom? Ung. And ung. Ungdom. Ungdom. Ja. Okay, am I getting that right? Ja, ungdom. <laughs> ungdom. Bra, you, you're getting that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you get special tickets uh, for, for example, if you're like a, a student or a pensioner? Yeah, so these are quite simple words. Um, student is student. 
student, okay? So would that just be in student billet? Yeah, in student billet. Absolute. And often you you might need a student card, so a, a student court okay. to uh, verify it. Um, and um, and pensionärs biljett. Pen, say that again? Pensionär. Pensionär. Ja. So we've got another sjö <laughs> said. It's one of those words that doesn't look that complicated and then we just add some sjö sound in it. Pensionär. Okay, so let's say I am going from Stockholm to Gothenburg, but I'm going with my my mother, my wife, my elder son who's a student, and my younger son who is not yet a student. Um, I want to buy tickets for everyone. So, would I say, "Jag vill köpa fem What's the plural of biljett? Biljetter. So it's E A biljetter. Okay. Jag vill köpa fem biljetter till Göteborg. Ja, jättebra. Eh, vad vad för sorts biljetter? Let's well, see that question again. Vad för sorts biljetter? Are you saying like what kind of biljetter? Ja, what kind of tickets? Okay. En uh, pensionärs biljett? Bra. Två Vuxna. Bra. En student och ett barn. Ja, bra. And well done for the ett barn. <laughs> I just remember that there at the end. <laughs> ett barn. Okay. And Mark, if you're going to go to Gothenburg um, and you can choose between X2000 mm-hmm. uh, och ett vanligt tåg and the, the, the regular train. Let's hear the word again for that, sorry. Ett vanligt tåg. Vanligt tåg. Um, what does that literally mean? Just a, a, a regular. Regular. A regular train, yeah. Okay. Um, en biljett är dyrare och en biljett är billigare. Ah, right. So one ticket is more expensive and one ticket... Well, one ticket is cheaper and one ticket is more expensive, yeah? Yeah, well done. So you remember that from, from a, a, an earlier episode. So... Just like in in Britain, um, train tickets are quite complicated. So I'm just bear that in mind when you go to Gothenburg. That is okay. is all about who is traveling and on what time and what type of train. Okay, that, that, that sounds okay. One further perhaps complication would be uh, if you do you need to book a seat? Do you like do you have to book a, a seat on the train, for example? Yes. So. Um, and a seat in Swedish is called plats. Just like a place, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you can ask, vad har jag för plats? Um, what do I have for place? Literally, I guess. Yeah. Or what, what, what is my seat number, basically? Yeah. Okay. So vad har, vad, vad har jag för, for plats? Yeah. And if I say, let's, I'm saying the sentence and, and let, uh, let's see if you can understand it. Um, so, plats 52 i vagn 8 bredvid restaurangvagnen. Okay, um, so you said uh, seat 52, 52. Mm-hmm. So is it like saying um, in literally wagon 8, like wagon or um, carriage 8? Ja, precis. So, vagn. Vagn. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of the other words that we've come across with that sound in them that end in, they end in GN, don't they? Yeah. Okay, so my seat is a Platz 52 i Vagn 8, I think. Yeah. And what was the other part? Bredvid restaurangvagnen. Right, so the restaurangvagnen is the... The, the dining car, the restaurant car. Um, but what was the other word? Brevid. What does that mean? Next to. Next to. Ah, oh, that's a new word for me. Yeah, so I thought that could be useful. Mm-hmm. So, Platz 52 i Vagn 8 Brevid Restaurant van, van, uh, Vagnen. Yeah, <laughs> Restaurant Vagnen. <laughs> restaurant Vagnen. Yeah. Okay, am I making too much of that GN sound? You, you say it again? Restaurant Vagnen. Restaurant Vagnen. 
Just say carriage on its own. Wangen. Wangen. Okay. I find that quite tricky. <laughs> okay. We're going to take a short break there and we'll be back in, in just a moment because there are a few more things that we need to know about train travel. So we'll be back very soon. All the Coffee Break Swedish podcast episodes are free, but did you know there's a full online course available? We offer video versions of the lessons where you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. There are lesson notes providing further information and additional vocabulary and a bonus audio episode for every lesson. To find out more about our online course, go to coffeebreakswedish.com. Okay, welcome back. We're talking about train travel today. Um, during the break, I was telling uh, Hannah about a, a situation where once I was travelling in, in Germany by train and I managed to go to completely the wrong destination because I misunderstood the information that I had to change trains at some point. So do we change trains sometimes in, in Sweden? Absolutely, Mark. So I'm very happy you brought it up so, so we can... <laughs> um, uh, so we can learn the phrase so you know what the the person who sells the tickets to you is going to say. And they're probably going to say, du måste byta tåg i Halsberg. Right, so byta, I'm guessing, means to change. Yeah. And is that a word specifically for changing trains or can you change other things with buta? No, it's, it's a very general word for buta. So if you're going to, I don't know change clothes, you beat the clatter. Um, Could you put uh, um, money, like if you're changing money from from pound sterling into kroner, for example? No, unfortunately not. That is vexla. Vexla, yeah, because I I've, I've, should have heard that and it's linked to um, uh, vexel and, and, and so on in, in, in German. Um, okay, so buta. Um, let's hear the, the, the phrase again that you said. Du måste byta tåg i Halsberg. Du måste byta tåg i Halsberg. Where's Halsberg? So Halsberg is in the middle of Sweden, kind of more towards Stockholm than Gothenburg. But um, it's it's that kind of place where you always change train. Ah, okay. So useful to know. And listen out for that word <laughs> and don't make the mistake that I made uh, in, in, in Germany. Okay, so um, can I just say then, ja... Jag byter tåg i Halsberg. Ja. If I'm, I'm changing train in, in Halsberg, yeah? Ja, perfekt. So if you say it to the um, the train conductor so they can help you off in Halsberg. Okay, so if we've learned how to say um, uh, must I change trains and so on, what other kind of things might we need to ask um, in uh, if we're on a train? So, well, Mark, see if you can, can work this one out. How would you say... Um, does this train go somewhere? Okay. Um, oh, no, wait a minute. We we did uh, this lesson exactly. earlier. Exactly. Okay. Uh, right. I think, I, I don't know whether this is, I'm going too far here, but um, last time we learned uh, uh, at Oka, which is, is that the verb that you use for going places in transport? Well, sometimes, <laughs> to make it more complicated. Yes, we do. Um, but not in this instant, actually. <laughs> okay, so what's the word for go here? It's just gore. Ah, right. So gore. it's the same word that we use for actually um, humans walking. Gore. Okay, right. So could I say... Går det här tåg? Nej, uh, går det här tåget till, and where did you see it was going to? <laughs> Forgotten? Umeå, let's say Umeå. Okay, so går det här tåget till Umeå? Perfekt, bra! So it's this train, so this here, the train. Ja. Right. I think I'm getting this. Går det här tåget till Umeå? So most of the time we use the word, um, the verb gå, just when we talk about a, a, a person using their feet to walk. But 
Um, we also use it just when when we, if you can translate it to go in, in English. Okay. Uh, that something goes somewhere. And if you take the train or if you go by train, do you walk at all? Exactly. Because you're a passenger then. So it's about you sitting on the train. So a train can never walk out because that would be the train sitting on another train. On a train. Right. Okay. I get it. I get it. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so går det här tåget till Umeå or går det här tåget till Uppsala or wherever? Ja, perfekt. Um, and, and I can say, ja, det gör det. Eller nej, det går till, till Luleå. Till U- Luleå? <laughs> so we've got Umeå and Luleå. No, Umeå och Luleå. Och Luleå, okay, right. <laughs> Gets complicated. Okay, what else might we, might we need to know? Well, I guess we need to know what what track the train to Umeå goes <laughs> from, so we we know where we where where we're gonna uh, go uh, on the train. Um, so I would ask, from vilket spår åker vi? Right. So from vilket spår? So spår must be track, yeah. Exactly. Åker vi? So here we use åker because it's about where we are going. Can I ask, could I see from vilket spår går tåget till Umeå? Yes, good. So in that case, it's the train that's going, yeah? Mm. Right, so from vilket spår åker vi? Uh, where, from which um, track do we go? Like, do we take the train? Or from vilket spår går tåget? Perfect, bra. Could you... Just give us both of those sentences so that we've got the correct pronunciation. Från vilket spår åker vi? Från vilket spår går tåget? Jättebra. Tack så mycket. And I guess I can, I can reply. Tåget avgår uh, klockan 18.23 från spår 4. Oh, you put a time in there, didn't you? Yes, I thought <laughs> you're doing so well, so let's... I know it goes from track four. Yep, good, from spår fyra, <laughs> excellent. platform four, I guess. Um, so let's hear it again. Tåget avgår klockan 18 och 23. 18 och 23, that must be 1823. Yes, so... Most of the time in Sweden we use a 24-hour clock, um, so it's good to know that when when it, it comes to the trains. Now, you didn't just say tåget går, you said something different. No, it's a, a more formal word, uh, that is departure, avgår. Ah, right, okay, avgår. Um, I guess, well, we've had ingår, um, which was, it's, it's included. Yep, this is. Um, so this is avgår, it uh, departs. What's the opposite? What's to arrive? Ankommer. Now, we've heard that when we were talking about um, hotels or something ja, like that, wasn't it? Ja, ankomstdag. Okay, the arrival day. So ankommer. So tåget avgår klockan 18 och 23. Ja, bra. Från spår... Fyra, fyra. Ja, I think you can get a job at, at uh, SJ now. <laughs> yeah, I think the problem is there will be a very long queue because it'll take me so long to see each <laughs> sentence. So, Mark, should we uh, do some practice so you, you get ready for that job interview with SJ? Why not? Yeah, it's, all, it's always going to be useful, even if, <laughs> even if I'm just understanding train times. <laughs> uh, so, so have to, well, what, what do you want me to do? Okay, so if I say... Um, a couple of announcements in English, and you have to um, tell me um, them in Swedish. I'll do my best. Okay. So the train to Sundsvall um, departs 7.32 from track 6. Okay. The train to Sundsvall, did you say? Yes. Departs at 7.32 from track 6. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tåget till Sundsvall avgår klockan sju och trettio från spår sex. Jättebra! Well done! 
Okay. I'm, I'm a step closer to getting the job. <laughs> yeah. um, the train to Örebro departs 1958 from track two. Okay, so Örebro, 1958, track two. Uh, toget till Örebro avgår klockan 19.58. Från spår två. Jättebra. Well done. Can I ask, is it 1958? Because I think at one point you said uh, uh, 18 och 23. Do we have to put a, an and in there? No, you don't have to. But it works either way? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So let me try that again. Uh, tåget till uh, Örebro avgår klockan... Uh, Uh, 19.58 från spår 2. Bra! I'm very professional. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about um, arrival then? So, um, the train from Malmö uh, arrives 11.08 um, on track 1. So just to check, is this 11.08 in the morning? Yes. Okay, so the train from Malmö uh, arrives at 11.08. Now, you said on track one. Um, so what would the word for on, because I think we've just done from. Till. Right, so the train from, uh, from Malmö arrives at 11.08 on track one or platform one. Toget from Malmö ankommer uh, klockan elva. Noll åtta. Bra, noll. Noll, noll åtta. Uh, till spår en. Nej, ett. Ett, oh, of course, yeah, because we're counting. Ja. Okej, okay. så so, tåget från Malmö ankommer klockan elva noll åtta till spår ett. Ja, bra. Okej, okay. let's do one more. <laughs> <laughs> the train from Kalmar arrives 9.12 um, on track 13. Oh, right. The train from Kalmar arrives at 9.12, track 13. Uh, tåget från Kalmar ankommer klockan 9. Uh, 12. Till spår 13. Ja, jättebra. Do I get the job? If it was up to me, absolutely. Absolut. <laughs> can we just hear you saying all four of those sentences so that we can get a feel for what they might sound like if we're in a station? And also, um, say them quite quickly because I think it's the kind of thing that you might hear quite quickly. Ja, okej. Okay. Så, nummer ett. Tåget till Sundsvall avgår 7.32 från spår 6. Okay. Tåget till Örebro avgår 19.58 från spår 2. Okej, okay, nummer tre. Tåget från Malmö ankommer 11.08 till spår 1. Och nummer fyra. Tåget från Kalmar ankommer 9.12 till spår 13. Jättebra. Okej, okay, I think you would get the job too. So ah, thank good. you. <laughs> Now, we've been looking there at time. Uh, we've been looking at, at times in the 24-hour clock. I would really like if next time, in the next lesson, we could look at telling the time um, because I think that's a, a useful uh, a useful thing to be able to do in a foreign language. So perhaps we could add that to our next lesson. Yeah, absolutely. And we it's quite easy in Swedish. It's just a half past that people get a bit confused with. Okay, we can look forward to that. Yeah. Now, if you would like to get access to more to help you with your Swedish, then make sure you check out our premium version of the course. And that will provide uh, the, the written notes, so lesson notes, giving you all the vocabulary and some bonus materials too. And also the, the, the video version of this lesson, where you'll see all the words and phrases on the screen of your device. And you can listen as you watch and get used to how the words are spelled. 
Um, there's also a bonus uh, audio episode, and that's what we're just about to record. And that is where we look at some bonus vocabulary. And I think this time we're going to be looking at uh, what topic are we going to be looking at in the bonus lesson this time? And uh, we're just going to continue a little bit with transport and talk about times. Times. Okay, so that's further practice uh, in our bonus lesson. All of that is available on the Coffee Break Academy at coffeebreakacademy.com. And you can find us on Facebook. Just search for Coffee Break Swedish and we post regular content to help you build your cultural knowledge of all things Swedish. We do indeed. And also do check us out on Instagram too. If you're following Coffee Break Languages on Instagram, you'll be able to follow some Swedish content there too that we post regularly. Um, in fact, we post content regularly for all our languages over at Coffee Break Languages on Instagram. For now, thanks for making Thank you very much, Hannah. We will be back next time with uh, another lesson, including some word, well, some work on time and some more transport. And that will be coming very soon. Hey do. Hey do. You have been listening to a production of the Coffee Break Academy for the Radiolingua Network. Copyright 2020, Radiolingua Limited. Recording copyright 2020, Radiolingua Limited. All rights reserved. <laughs>